everybody, KBNP here. We're looking to get on the road and uh, and maybe get away from this coronavirus for a little bit, for a few days. Yeah, we are definitely socially isolating, so no worries, we'll be up in the mountains. Yeah, so we're heading up to uh, Bent Creek um, uh, and staying at Lake uh, Powhatan. And if you're new to the channel, uh, we are KBNP. I'm Carl. I'm this Brenda. Is, this is Brenda. And this is Pepper. <laughs> and pepper's ready to go yeah so we'll definitely do a review at the end of this video so be sure to stay tuned for that and if you like this content be sure to hit like and subscribe that's it we're gonna get on the road and uh yeah so stay tuned and hope you enjoy this video you. well good morning it's our first uh, morning in uh, Lake Powhatan at Bent Creek. We've got the coffee and brewing. Brenda's got the uh, milk frothing. So good morning, it's Saturday morning and uh, we just woke up. It's nice and cool. It rained uh, last night. Pretty neat uh, campsite. Um, you know, pretty good privacy. Uh, looks like some empty spaces around us, which is helping to uh, to make it even nicer. So we're gonna we'll go explore here in a little bit. It's been probably 25 years or more since we camped here last. I thought border collies are supposed to be smart. You're supposed to know how to do this. Come up here. And then over here. There you go. Yeah. Hey. Maybe maybe instead of being so concerned about your frisbee, you should be concerned about eating your breakfast over here, huh? Would you rather what about this right here? So, it's a beautiful morning getting ready to take Pepper for a little walk because he's acting like a crazy man. I've got some mountains in the background that's pretty. Uh -huh. some mountains in my background. I got some mountains in my background and I'm here to say we're camping all week. Coronavirus day away. Hit it. <laughs> So if you haven't gotten one of these Blackstone griddles, they're, they're pretty neat, pretty handy, uh, versatile. You can cook burgers, steaks, scramble your eggs, whatever. Uh, just toss it on and cook it. It's awesome.
Yeah, good job, Pepper. Yeah. I said I got a bunch of mud in my mouth. Go ahead. That's a good boy. All right, Pepper. Look out. Look out. Hey, how y'all doing? How you doing? <laughs> Do not follow Cara until you get your mojo back. Up, I almost wrecked right on that very first set of roots. I followed you. Oh, well, you should have done that. I, well, that's what I was saying. Don't follow him until you get your mojo back. <laughs> Good job. Get some water. It's a good boy, yes. Yeah. Uh. 
right, so we just had a, our first ride since we got up here. It was fun, and we did a Hard Times Connector, and Pepper did great on it. So now it's time for a cold beer and sit down and relax and get ready for dinner. Good morning. Um, it is almost nine o'clock, and uh, we've been staying in bed this morning. It's cold in the low 40s. We got our windows open, enjoying it, and uh, yeah, we're gonna get our day going here. And no internet, so we don't really know what's going on. Um, Beautiful scenery. Yeah, it's real pretty here, and uh, <clears throat> yeah, isolating, staying away from the coronavirus. Hashtag social distancing. Everything Carl says is a lie. Well, maybe not a lie, but maybe a lie. maybe just not accurate information. All right, baby. A little too cold for that today.
So we should go ride bikes. Hey, Pepper, get Don't out of there. That nasty water. Hey, come here. Here, have some of this instead. Get rabies or something. Hey everybody, we're coming to you from Porchside Hankin and we're here to tell you about the last place we went camping which was Lake Powhatan, which is uh, right adjacent to the Bent Creek Experimental Forest. Lots of beautiful campsites there. Um, where we camped was on the Lakeside Loop, which is where most of the hookups are. Yeah, there's uh, I think there's 20 full hookup sites uh, on Lakeside Loop. There's 96 sites altogether, I think. Mm -hmm. There's a variety of different uh, electrical uh, type hookups and so different amenities for different sites, right. but uh, all look like really good uh, campsites. And, yes. we, and we got to try three of them out while we, we were did. there. <laughs> so. We did, you know how that is. If one's available when they're full and then the next night another one's available. We're, um, Disappointed to have to come home early because uh, they closed Bent Creek uh, on Monday when we were supposed to be there till Friday because of the coronavirus. What we do want to talk about is the campsites. Everything is paved, the loop is paved, the campsites are paved, but however, you have to be really good at balancing out your vehicle or having a good stabilizing system because some of the the sites are a little bit uneven. We moved to site 36 and it was uh, not very level at all. And in fact, when we put the levelers down, we ended up with the front tires, I don't know, a good foot off the ground. I yeah. Think. And it looked pretty precarious. And, uh, and, and I'm still new at this, so it, I found it very hard to sleep that night with my wheels so far <laughs> off the ground. Yeah, it looked pretty sketchy. Uh, uh, and so maybe we're doing it wrong. We need to research mm -hmm. that a little bit. Feel free to leave a comment about uh, yeah. what you're supposed to do. We saw a lot of people with uh, things uh, tucked up under the tires when yeah. things were jacked up high, but mm -hmm. I couldn't really uh, see the why that was a good idea. Anyway, we survived and we it, did. didn't, it didn't fall over during yeah. the night. So what we did find was there's lots of beautiful trails there if you like to hike or um, if you're into mountain biking, which we are, of course. There was lots of mountain biking trails. Some yeah. gravel roads, yeah. uh, so good gravel bike riding, and some uh, pretty easy trails, some paved trails around the campground. The, right. the roads around there are great for uh, people on, on uh, beach cruisers or, or road bikes. Right. But if you're, there's also some challenging trails if you're into you know something more challenging. They have a variety of trails for everybody. We were disappointed to have to come home early. Uh, one of the trails that we always like to, to ride is uh, Green Slick. Green Slick, yeah. yeah we, we, we really enjoy that trail, but uh, we didn't get a chance to ride that this time, but we'll, we'll get it next time. Things that we really enjoy about this particular camping area is that you can ride straight from your campsite right to the trails. I mean, you're right there. And you're also, when you're done riding, in the summertime, there's a beautiful lake right there for you to enjoy swimming in. Yeah, um, they, like like she said, they think about the lake and all. <laughs> so yeah, the, not only can you uh, swim, but you can fish. Right, you uh, can fish. But you, 
one thing you can't do is you cannot put uh, kayaks, canoes, or stand-up paddle boards in the lake, unfortunately. Right. And it's uh, about, what, a 15-acre lake, I think? It's, it's not super big. I don't remember the size of the lake at all. Oh, okay. But if you say 15 acres, that's, that could be in the yeah. realm of possibility. Yeah, I, I think it was about a 15-acre lake. I'm just going to go out on a limb and say 15 it's, acres. It's more than an acre and less than... 200 lake acres. Acres. Yeah, or 200 lakers. 200 lakers. So the uh, the the campground is also right next to the North Carolina Arboretum. Uh, and it's it, a beautiful arboretum. Beautiful flowers. Mm -hmm. It's great uh, to go there and, and walk around um, and enjoy the sights. Or as we used to tell the boys when we used to take them camping there, they're next to the arboretum. Yeah, we thought we would just freak <laughs> the kids out and say there's all kinds of weird uh, creatures, creatures in there. Experiment with creatures, Doctor Strange type it was thing. Bent Creek Experimental Forest yes. in the Arboratorium. The Arboratorium. I actually back then didn't know how to pronounce arboretum. So, uh, campsite costs range between twenty-five and forty-one dollars, depending on the amenities you need and how you register. And probably during the summer, it's totally worth every penny because the trails are amazing for biking, hiking, and you got the lake. The kids will just, if you have kids, or you might just enjoy it yourself. You can swim and it's just a great place to hang out. But if you don't have kids, you know, you could always get some, right? I mean, that'd be no, one no. option. So um, I did have one question uh, for you, Brenda, and your thoughts um, about uh, chamois cream. Uh, it really is good in terms of keeping everything. Car. No. No. Okay. That's the, for the, another day. So the one thing, uh, one complaint I would have is, what are those little crunchy pieces that sometimes get in there? Have you ever noticed, like, you're using the chamois cream? <laughs> There's like these little dry pieces. Okay. <laughs> oh. So, the end. No, the end. Okay. The coronavirus is no joke. We've been treating it seriously. Very serious. Since the beginning. We didn't want anybody to think that uh, us going up there was um, in defiance no. of, because of, we were completely uh, able to shelter in place in exactly. the RV. We had over a week's worth of food and supplies. And so uh, we kept our distance from people. Right. And so that was that was not, not an issue for us. Yeah. I said no trips to the ER, Carl. So keep it low and slow. Because who wants to go to the ER in the middle of a COVID-19 crisis? I mean, not us. Yeah, so you'll, you'll see in our videos, we're, we're actually riding about half the speed that we normally ride. <laughs> we, we, we're normally really, really so fast. So fast, yeah. We're really, really good riders, but we decided to cut the yeah. speed in half in spite of you. Just because of this, you know, the COVID low and slow. Exactly. I, I like that. Yeah, yeah, low and slow. But we want to be safe and we want you to be safe too. Exactly. So we hope you're, uh, you enjoy the, the videos that we're putting out and, uh, you know, I can just imagine you sitting around uh, wishing that you could get out of the house. Comforting to know that you can watch KB and P videos. Yes. And as always, if you like this content, uh, please hit like and subscribe. You. So Brenda, Bent, Cr Bent Creek is an experimental forest. What exactly does that mean? Um, actually, Carl, there's several areas on the trail where they gather seeds in baskets from the trees so that they can take those seeds and replant them in the forest. That's what the experimental part is. Oh, so it has nothing to do with the arboratorium? I don't know. It's all getting crystal clear to me now. I saw the baskets there and the baskets are labeled with different types of trees. So if you know what this whole experimental forest is, uh, maybe you could leave a comment and I'm help pretty sure that that's us. what it is. Is the baskets of seeds? Uh, well, I mean, how experimental is that? That I mean, they take the, they're trying to propagate and keep the 
forest going, Carl, by collecting the seeds, okay? When everybody dies from the virus, can you and I uh, propagate to re-establish no, the... Good boy? Yeah.